This is the, uh, the whole picture of the K-Rich. So as I mentioned, K-Rich regulate the chemicals at the substance level, at the same time the product level. So in view of the substance, um, there are mainly three requirements. One is the, the annual reporting and the registration and communication in supply chain. So the reporting and the registration and communication uh, is applied for the new chemical and at the same time existing chemical. In k -Rich, product is, is basically consumer product. So if product contains hazardous substance more than one ton per year, and it should be notified to the government in advance. And the MOE, they will designate the highly risk concern product for the further risk assessment. And the, according to the, the assessment, they will give, the MOE will give the safety standard and labeling criteria and the, the industry, they have to follow it. I summarized the, the main requirements under the K-REACH in this table. The first one is reporting. So manufacturer and import, importer and seller, they should report the volume and use information of all new chemical and existing chemical over one ton per year every year. So the thing is, the industry, they have to disclose the, the information uh, to report, to comply with the reporting requirements. And your local importer in Korea, they ask you to disclose all of the, the, the information, the recipe of the chemical product to comply with the reporting requirements. And second point, registration. Again, the all new chemical and the existing chemical subject to registration over one ton per year are required to the registered. And the MOE, they adopted the three-year the batch system is similar to the Canadian style. Communication in supply chain, the supplier is required to provide information related to the registered substance to the downstream users and sellers. And downstream users and sellers in exchange they have to provide the chemical information to the supply on a request. It's a kind of two-way communication. The last one, the product notification. The when hazardous chemical is present in the, the consumer product, at the quantity greater than the specific tonnage, more than one ton per year, the, some of the, the information should be notified in advance. I will spend some time on the, the new, new the low concern polymer. In comparison to the, the TCCA low concern polymer, the k rich described the low, the low molecular weight. And there is some exemption, uh, exception, uh, cationic polymer and the polymer with a specific functional group. For the low concern polymer application, some of the information should be prepared, such as monomer information and the, the molecular weight distribution, etc. So this is the, the comparison table between the European reach and the K-REACH. K-REACH, there is no pre-registration stage, but instead reporting requirements and the registration for the new chemical and the existing chemical. And the polymer, under the K-REACH, polymer is not exempt from the registration. And the data requirements, high volume and more data. And uh, the bottom line, the, the joint submission and the only representative are same to the European reach. And the product notification and product management. In Article 2, it defines the, the product. It's a basically consumer product. So consumer product, uh, it's part or a component with a potential exposure of the chemicals, including the product in mixture and the article. But for the, the article notification, the finished article can be exempt from the no notification requirements. The carriage is moving, so keep an eye on and uh, make your update.